Well, folks, it looks as if we just had another one of those tragic school events happen, this time at UNLV in Nevada. And yeah, I'm sure you know what type of tragic event I'm talking about. And it seems like we're seeing these type of tragic events every single day or every other day in this country these days. But anyways, as of right now, things are going to change, obviously. As of right now, at the time of this recording, keep in mind, I have to edit this video and upload this video. So it takes time. But as of right now, there are very little details out there. We don't know exactly how many victims and we don't know exactly how many suspects. I've been listening into scanners. I've heard reports that the suspect was in custody. And I heard reports that they ended the suspect, that they put the suspect down, if you will. So there's different reports floating around and people on campus, one of which is in contact with me through DMs on Twitter, follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. They're saying that there's talks of multiple suspects, two or three suspects, and I don't know. As of right now, we don't have a name. We don't have anything. All we know is that something happened. But just a moment ago, they were talking on the news and they were making it out to be as if there was only one suspect. Now, that may be the case. But people who were there, witnesses, students, are saying a, a, a totally different story. One interview on the news, and it's important, when it comes to events like this, it's important to pay attention. It's important to collect receipts. When you see those random witnesses on the news talking, it's important. Screen record it. Record it. Because the details will suddenly change sometimes. Sometimes there's narratives that they want to craft around these events. Sometimes the details disappear. But one witness claims that she saw the suspect being taken into custody and was still hearing shots going off. So it makes it seem as if there were multiple suspects. But we have no confirmation of that. I want to go ahead and roll this clip really quickly and then I'll be right back with more thoughts. And, and when you heard I was looking outside, I was seeing police cars around the other building, and then I see a guy and they push him on the floor, and the other police officers were holding a big gun, which I'm assuming was the shooter, and then I saw them throw a guy in a car, who I'm assuming was the shooter, and then I didn't know what was happening, and then boom, I hear rounds of shots, I didn't know if it was coming from police or another person, so I went running after that, and then I was just, I didn't know what was happening after that, I was just hearing gunfire. Okay, and we, and we know that, so we, we're hearing from Metro that uh, a, a suspect is deceased at this point, so uh, unclear if that person was the shooter, but you certainly saw some activity right there. And, and I'll take a look at them. I mean, what do you think of this happening over at UNLV? It's just, it's weird to have in real life because you see all these school shooting stuff always, and I'm like, I kind of knew it was going to happen to me one day, but it's weird for to have it real. It's scary, and it's real, and it needs to be taken seriously. And it's like, like this is like my actual life, you know? It's crazy. I'm Kevin McMahill. I'm the sheriff of the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department, and I want to say to the community, there's no further threat. I will tell you that this combined police, state, local, and federal law enforcement, along with the fire department, works very well. As the chief told you, we do have one su suspect down. Of course, we have no idea on the uh, motive. Um, there are a number of victims that have been transported to area hospitals, so I don't want to give you false information and tell you how many victims that we have, but we will pro be providing that update very, very shortly. I want to assure the community there's no further threat. We are continue continuing the investigation here. Uh, this is still a very active and dynamic scene, so if you can avoid the area, we would appreciate it. And we'll be pro providing additional updates in the very near future. So, you heard it yourself, folks. I don't know what's going on here, but, I mean, in the middle of all of this chaos, it's got to be a chaotic type of moment. Luckily, I've never been involved in something like this. Hopefully, I never have to. 
But in the middle of all of this chaos, it's hard. It's easy to get the details wrong. It's hard to really process everything that's going on. So, you know, I know we could pick through this with a fine tooth comb, but at the same time, you have to understand that this is a very hectic situation. I know we all want the truth. We all want to know what really happens. We want to know how many suspects. I get it. But sometimes I feel like people pick these things apart and they don't really consider the fact that, yeah, maybe everyone doesn't have the details hammered out right now. Maybe people heard things or saw things and they misinterpreted it. Who knows? But as of right now, all we know is that something tragic happened. Prayers go out to whoever is involved. And right now I'm just waiting to see what more information trickles out because in the midst of all of this chaos, students at this school are claiming there's multiple suspects and all of that stuff. And everyone's kind of panicking right now. Law enforcement's telling a different story, but then again, law enforcement over the scanner, I've heard different things. So we're just going to have to sit back and watch. But I thought it was important to record that little clip just in case, because from what this person says, they saw the suspect being taken into custody. So if you saw a suspect being taken into custody and you heard shots afterwards, that would make you think that there's multiple suspects. But then again, let's say there is one suspect. If she saw the suspect being taken into custody, then why is it being reported that the suspect has been neutralized? It's kind of weird, but at the same time, like I said, it's a confusing moment. So we'll just have to wait and see. But I thought it was important that I showed you all that little clip. But for now, let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments below. If you're feeling generous, you can support the channel directly via Cash App. I will have my Cash App in the pinned comment of this video, or you can support the channel via Super Thanks. But anyways, as always, remember to remain opinionated.